In this lesson, we're going to learn about the very important link between color and emotion. Humans are hardwired to perceive color in a certain way, and certain aspects of color and image and look will have a direct impact on our emotional reaction to it. If we know the rules of the human perception and emotion, we're going to be able to control the story and a hidden emotion in the image. In this particular chart, we have two axes, and these two axes represent the two most important factors when it comes to an emotion of an image. The first axis is called contrast. Why contrast? It's because we are not able to decide how bright an image it is, but what we are able to do is to compare the difference between the dark and bright part of an image, which is exactly the definition of the contrast. The higher the contrast, the more energy, the more tension, the more attention we are drawing to the look or to an image. The emotion of high contrast is very high energy and the emotion of low contrast is very low energy. A best way to understand it is to compare it with music. In music, we have a tempo of a song. The faster the song, the more energy has got, the lower the tempo of the song, the slower it is, the less energy has got. Now let's have a look at the second axis, and the second axis is called temperature. Temperature is also an equivalent in music of a harmony. So in the music we know that we have a, a major chords and minor chords. A major being a happy chord and a minor being a sad one. The same concept works with colors and the warm colors, the colors that are around oranges, yellows and reds, are gonna evoke a positive emotion, a happy emotion, and a cold colors, colors around cyan, blue and green, are gonna give us a negative emotion, a fear and a danger. I'm going to now show you these examples on the following shot. So here what you see is a shot that is basically now in RAW, and now I'm going to use these principles to take you through four different extreme examples of emotion. So first I'm going to go and create a very high contrast shot, and now I'm going to put this high contrast to be warm, or I could take this high contrast and make cold. In the opposite way, let me go and make this shot a very low contrast by lowering the difference between my shadow and my highlight. I'm going to adjust the density and now I will make this shot warm and then I'm going to go and make it very cold. Same moment, same lighting, same camera, same actor, but four completely different emotions that we were able to create by simply adjusting contrast and temperature.